Well, hello tonight to all of my Facebook friends and to all of my friends all over the world. And and I just wanted to come to you all tonight. And I was talking about uh, something the other day. I asked a question. Uh, do you know what true love really is? Do you know what true love is? I believe that was a question I asked the other day. And uh, I got a few comments, and I'm going to talk about them in a little bit. But God is so good. First of all, we're going to start off with the prayer tonight. To the all-wise God, and creator and maker of all mankind. Father, we come to you tonight in the most humble manner that we know how, Father. Thanking you for another day's journey. Thanking you, Father, for everyone that have been waiting on you for a blessing tonight, Father, and everyone that needs a healing, Lord. We just want to say, Lord, heal them in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you. I pray this prayer tonight in your darling son, Jesus, Father, and I ask you to help me to teach and try and preach your holy word tonight in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray, amen, and amen. First of all, like I was saying, I asked the question, do you know what true love is? Well, let me get my little specs here, my little glasses here, and put them on it. And we're going to go to the scripture here. And the scripture that I'm going to talk from tonight is 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 13. And uh, like I said, I asked a question the other day. Do you know what true love is? And then I had a few friends on Facebook. They came back with an answer. Thank God for them. And the first uh, young man that come to me with an answer was Keith Barry. And he said, unconditional. That's good. Thank the Lord for him. And, and then I had another sister that come to me with uh, another answer and she said for better or for worse and that was Martha C. Martinez and that's good thank God for her and then I had another one of the sisters that uh, on my page that I have uh, on Facebook I have a group page and and she always go on the page and and pray and, and sends a lot of good information to help that page out by delivering me from bondage. And she said, true love is authentic and genuine. And that's Sister Kaylee J. Bailey. Thank God for her. And that's good. Hallelujah. And then I thought about when my son was a little child, and I asked him, I said, Baby, what is true love? He looked up at me, and he said, Mama, true love, is, is God is love. Is God love? <laughs> I said, Yes, baby, God is love. And I thank God for my son, Ricky Thompson, Jr., Power Dollar Be a Hope. Thank you for him, and that was good. Thank you, son. Thank you for that, because God is good, and he is love. And, uh, and then I had some more people to like, you know, and how they do on Facebook. Um, I thank God for them, and uh, I thank God for, for another friend on Facebook is 
Keith and Swing. Brother Keith and Swing, he loves the Lord and he loves to pray. And I thank God for him. He keeps the prayer line going because that is love. He's showing love to people. And we thank God for him tonight. And, and then I have a lot more friends on there that I would love to call all of their names. And, but, you know, God is so good and time is running out. I thank God for them. And um, go with me to 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 13. And we're going to talk a little bit about true love. And the first verse says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and I have not love, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling of cymbal. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. And though I have the gifts of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains and have not, Love, I am nothing. Hallelujah. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not love, it profits me nothing. Hallelujah. Love. Suffers long, well, and is kind. Love envies not. Hallelujah. Love vantages not itself. Mm -hmm. Is not puffed up. Hallelujah. Do it not behave is unseemly. It does not behave itself that way. It does not behave itself unseemly. Well, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, and, and thinketh no evil. Can I get a witness? Well, that carries me back to when a friend said, uh, Love is unconditional. Hallelujah. And today, I thank God for that. Well, rejoice not in iniquity. It doesn't rejoice in iniquity. But rejoices in the truth. Hallelujah. And I thank God for my husband, Pastor Burleson. He always taught us. How love, how good God is, and the love of God that bonds things together and keeps everything intact. Thank God for Him. Well, and uh, it bears all things, believes with all things, hope all things. It hopeth all things and endure all things. Love never fails. Well, love, it never faileth. Hallelujah. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Well, uh, all of this stuff is going to vanish away. But uh, for we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is to come, then that which is in part shall be done away with. Well, God is love, that perfect love. When it comes into your life, all 
of those other things we done away with that's in parts. Hallelujah. When I was a child, hallelujah, I spoke as a child. And I understand as a child. When I spoke as a child growing up, hallelujah, I understood the things that my mother and father taught me as a child. Hallelujah. I thought as a child. And, and But when I become a woman, or when you become a man, well, you put away childish things. Hallelujah. You learn how to love one another. Well, well... Mm-hmm. For now, we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. <laughs> Hallelujah. And now, faith, it abideth in us. Yes. And now faith, as I said, abide it. Hope, love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. Let me do that one more time. Well, and now abide is faith. Well, but hope, love, these three things. Faith, Hope and love. Mm -hmm. But the greatest of these is love. Well, I want you to know tonight that, uh, well, uh, you are right. And uh, love is conditional. And that is true love. And uh, I thank God for everybody tonight. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Holy Ghost. I feel pretty good right now. I thank the Lord for His true love. Well, and let me tell you about another true love. Well, well, it's God's Son. Mm -hmm. He sent His Son down here to die on this old rugged cross. He walked this whole earth just like you and I. But one thing about it, he pleased his Father, God in heaven, so much that when he ain't done what he was supposed to do, he come down here and he gave his life. For all of this old sinful world. And Lord have mercy. I want you to look up children. Look up as though you're looking at Jesus on the cross. That was love. That's love. Love come down here. And he died on that old rugged cross. Well, well, for you and for me. Well, but I want you to know one thing. When he died, they took him and laid him in Joseph's old barber tomb. But early, early, one Sunday morning, he got up, love got up, and love declared that all power of both heaven and earth was in his hand. Yes, he did. That's love. That was true love. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Can I get a witness? Thank you, Lord. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you today. I got to go now. Much love, Miss Diane, telling it like it is. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord. 